Good morning, everyone. Let's worship the Lord. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above the heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you, Brother Tim. Church. No snow out there. I wonder where our people are. It's not too cold, is it? Not too hot. But anyway, it's good to see those of you that decided to come to the house of the Lord to hopefully receive from the Lord. Um, he might speak to you in your spirit. Um, a few announcements to make. The biggest one, I suppose, would be the plan of action meeting for the church. Uh, council leadership. Now that's for every chairperson of the committees will be laying out a plan of action under God's guidance, not under our own. Christians, please hear me. Uh, under God's guidance on what he would have us to do with the plans that we need to make for this coming year. And Christ said this is a very important meeting right after the service. Um, I'll never forget the prayer meetings on Wednesday night. Um, something about that the other day, that the biggest decline of, of declination in the church is when people stop attending corporate prayer meetings, and that's at 6.30. Also, yesterday we distributed a lot of food to people. It's actually about a three-day process. Uh, a lot of hard work goes into it. Um, so thank you for the team that's involved in that. But we served uh, 38 families representing 118 family members. Um, and, which is more than we've ever done before. But I think about this. Man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. So 118 people, 38 families, we fed their belly. But what they really need is their spirit. That's just an enticement to get them. Jesus fed the 5,000. Why? He was enticing them to come into the kingdom of God. And that should be our priority this year. This year in particular, for reasons that I won't go into right now. And I shared with the Sunday school class just a little bit. So, us with the gray hair, are we King Hezekiah? We are not. Amen? Yeah. We're not King Hezekiah. We did not care about his grandchildren. We only cared that there would be peace in his lifetime. We will be the children of the sons and the daughters of the living God. For those who are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Not those who believe, those who obey. All right, any other announcements we need to make? If not, then let's pray. Father God, Jesus' name, we want to thank you, Lord, for the privilege of having a place to assemble in the name of the Father, where we can come and receive of your spirit, unencumbered, Heavenly Father, by heat or cold or deadness. Uh, any of the, of the obstacles, Heavenly Father, that would divert us, Heavenly Father, from total attention to what your spirit says to each one of us in our hearts. And so we want to thank you, Heavenly Father. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, that you have been born and raised in a very great nation. Where we have the, the freedom to worship the Heavenly Father. A freedom that will probably be taken away from the generations to follow. But we thank you, Heavenly Father, that we have been allowed to be raised in this great country, Heavenly Father. And so we want you to know that we appreciate that, but we also want you to know, Heavenly Father, that we beg your forgiveness for what we've done and the responsibilities that you have given us. For the country has not turned itself towards you, but has rather turned itself towards Satan. To the world, the flesh, and the devil, as your word says. We're sorry for that. We ask for your forgiveness, and we most of all, we ask for your deliverance, because we believe we can be delivered from that mindset. And so we pray, Father, that you would deliver us. 
by the power of the Holy Spirit that dwells within us. We do pray, Holy Father, for fresh baptisms of your Holy Spirit, Lord, that will fill us up, and that the fruit of the Spirit will be manifested in our lives in ways that we never considered possible. We pray for those that are far from you, even those within the sound of my voice that are far from you, who have not heard your voice in many, many years. And we pray, Heavenly Father, that this be the day that you would speak to them, speak to their hearts, Heavenly Father. Or speak out loud, that's all right, just let the thunder clap. We pray, Heavenly Father, for our musicians. We ask you, Heavenly Father, to anoint them in a special way. Anoint them, Heavenly Father, in a way that will bring us into your presence, for a knowledge of your presence. We thank you, Father, for the holy angels that are in this room, Heavenly Father, that escorted us here and made us uh, arrive safely, Heavenly Father. We're just grateful, Heavenly Father, that you have given us that companionship as we receive the leadership from your Holy Spirit. We pray for our pastor. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for the protection that you have placed around him. And we do ask you, Heavenly Father, as the words that you have placed upon his heart, that they will penetrate our hearts, that will change us, Lord, in the people that you have. And Father God, we cry out to you. We would like for this place to be a center of the activity of your Holy Spirit. Lord, please, Lord God, all these people around us, as we talked to the people yesterday, Lord, in the sadness in their spirits, Heavenly Father, is a place they can come to get away from that sadness, where they can be filled with the spirit of joy, Father. We just pray, Heavenly Father, that you would help us to be that people. Help us find us, find us faithful, Lord. And only you can make us faithful, Father, for you know how sinful we are and how easily we are led astray from your, from your goals, Heavenly Father, for our lives. And so we ask you, Heavenly Father, to help us with that. We do pray for those among us that are very sick. I want to pray in particular for a young man named Tyler, who's got himself a little sideways. Lord, I ask you to remember the prayers of his grandmother. And so I ask you to save his life, Lord, from this COVID thing that's hit something that's come from you that the churches do not want to acknowledge Heavenly Father, this has come from you as you said in your word if I send a plague among my people if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray seek my face, turn from the wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven forgive their sin and I will heal their land we claim that here at Mill Creek Baptist Church Heavenly Father, we will turn we will humble, and we will listen so help us, Heavenly Father, with that. We pray, Heavenly Father, again, for the power of your presence, Lord, not just in word, but in deed. And so we ask you, Heavenly Father, to manifest yourself today here among us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. <coughs>